Thank just the rich. Don't think extending the Bush tax cuts won't affect you? Well, you might want to think again. There's a new report from the Joint Taxation Committee in Congress, and it finds that 31 million families could pay an extra $1,000 in taxes next year if a child tax credit is cut in half. 35 million couples would pay close to $600 from a marriage penalty, and 88 million taxpayers could pay over $500 in higher taxes next year if the lowest tax rate is indeed raised from 10% to 15%, as is presently the plan. Well, it's got conservative commentator Jerry Thompson very, very worried that this goes way, way beyond the rich. Jerry, good to have you. What do you make of this? Thanks, Neil. Well, first off, it's very important that I think Americans understand as busy as they are in the summer at the pool and getting ready to go back to school, and as bad as the economy is, and as many people that are looking for jobs, it's going to get worse if the Obama administration does not listen to us, the American people, and we say we do not want to raise taxes. It seems that the only two people in America, including John Maynard and John Maynard Keynes, who believe that you shouldn't raise taxes in a recession are Tim Geithner, who doesn't pay them, and President Obama. And I think it's time that we go to renew the tax renew the tax at bushtaxes.com to let to let Congress know we really, really are serious and we really don't want our taxes raised. One, one point, you, Jerry, I, just, just to, I, I know you're making some sure. very good uh, political talking points here, but it's not oh, that no, Tim, no, no, I, I look careful here, Tim Geithner does pay his taxes. He screws up on how much he owes, but he does pay them. But, but I, okay. I see, the, 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 the argument from Steny Hoare and Tim Geithner and Nancy Pelosi is, mm -hmm. um, the rich can afford to do this. This is really about the rich. Don't listen to Republicans who say this is way beyond the rich. They say it's not. What do you say? Well, you you just cited the report that shows that it is most Americans, and, and you'll also notice that um, Pelosi and and Hoyer also talk about the fact that someone who makes a couple that makes two hundred fifty one thousand or a single person who makes two uh, hundred thousand would be considered rich. Uh, I think that lots of folks in this country with kids and 401ks and college plans might beg to differ. And well, you're right about that, and there is dissension within the ranks, as you say, with the Democratic Party. Some at, of these guys saying, yeah. Evan Bayh in Indiana, I'm all for raising taxes on the rich, mm -hmm. he says, just not now and not in this type of an economy. But it seems to be falling on deaf ears. What do you make of that? I don't think it's falling on deaf ears, and, it's, and that's why I'm speaking out, and that's why my husband's speaking out, and that's why the League of American Voters is speaking out, and making sure people understand that we have the opportunity to change this. They're going to expire unless we do something, but we can do something, and we can let them know that it's not going to be acceptable, and it's not just rich people. I mean, for goodness sake, we know that when, when every time someone says it's just going to be the rich person, it's just a matter of time before it's the average American person. And remember, most of the small business growth is in this country uh, from, has come from job, jobs have come from small business. But 64% in the last 15 years, anyone who makes $250,000 or above, that's most of the small business owners in this country. Those, that is where this growth comes. That's where jobs come from. Jobs are the number one issue. America does not believe the Rockefeller Foundation report uh, uh, reported on this on Monday. They don't believe this administration or the country can fix the economy. We have to do something different. The so, only Jerry, thing we what if this is, is a trap for taxes. Republicans, though? And then, and then the effort of protecting. Uh, just hear me out. That, that what, they're, right. what they're actually doing is trying to get a trap going here so that Republicans, in the guise of trying to protect those tax cuts, let's say for the wealthy, but you're quite right, it's more than just the wealthy, mm -hmm. um, are then forced to vote on not extending them to the middle class, that they'll be caught in sort of like a, a oh, real Oh, you, you mean the Obama administration, the Democrats would try to, you know, make a, a divisive argument about class warfare? Something right. like we, we haven't done class. We haven't done class warfare yet. We did the black versus white last week, so we're on, we're on the class warfare next. I think that they very well white, but I think the American people are smart enough to understand these are not good stewards of our economy, and we, re we really need to do the thing that we know that works. There's no way that this economy is going to get any better unless we create jobs. We cannot create jobs unless we have a lower corporate tax rate, and we do not raise taxes on those Americans that are working so hard to get to that next level. Unfortunately, this, you know, we don't live in a static world. All of, a lot of us started as waitresses working through college. We're at a point now, you're just finally getting there, and boom, yeah. you're going to get hit with this ta an, an, a, a, ta a massive tax increase on, ja on January 1st. It's important that Americans understand that. Uh, Jerry, while I have you real quickly, I got an email from someone today knowing that you would be on saying, Ask Jerry if she's ever interested in running for office. I love her husband, Fred, but he seems so old now and so out of touch. Would she ever want to run on her own and just move on? 
Well, first, I'm going to address the old and out of touch. Uh, he's not old and out of touch, or I wouldn't, <laughs> I, I wouldn't have married him. And if you had any, if he had any real uh, admiration for me, I think he would understand that. Right. Uh, but no, I, I don't have any interest. I'm really happy being a mom. But I do want to defend John McCain for one second. Vincente Fox ought not uh, make a comment to John McCain like that. This is this is a man who has an economy based on two things: drugs and the exportation of their own citizens. I find that extremely. Uh, irritating that he would he sure. would do something like that. We're that talking about Vincente Fox, the former president of Mexico. Absolutely. Good stuff all. Jerry Thompson, good seeing you. My best to Fred. Thank I you. I don't think he's remotely old myself, but good stuff. Jerry, thank you. Thank